Before the symphony band begins this portion of the program, we would like to feature the concert and symphonic band's percussionist in a percussion ensemble. Brian Slauson's large percussion ensemble piece, Naigo Navidad, combines the melodies of traditional holiday carols with rhythms of Afro-Cuban music. We Three Kings and God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen are brilliantly, brilliantly interwoven throughout the piece all while being supported by a large array of auxiliary instrument percussion instruments playing an infectious 12-8 group. Please welcome the percussion ensemble and also please welcome to the podium Sequoia High School Director of Percussion Studies, Mr. Dennis Knott.
Sequoia High School Symphony Band. Last year, the Symphony Band received the honor of being the first Cherokee County Band program to receive the prestigious invitation to play at the Georgia Music Education Educators Association In Service Conference in Athens, Georgia. In February of 23, the band will be a featured performing ensemble at the Southeastern United States Band Clinic in Troy, Alabama. Tonight they will be playing several pieces from the program that they will be presenting in February. The symphony band will open its portion of tonight's program with In Living Color by Kataj Copley. In Living Color was inspired by the different colors of modern jazz like Snarky Puppy and the lights of George Gershwin to hits like Estelle's American Boy in order to, in order to create a kaleidoscope of colors and energy. This is a celebration of life and all the small things that lead to the big things. This is in living color. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Sequoia High School Symphony Band and their conductor, Mr. Casey Eubanks.
symphony band's next selection is Pershire Majesty by Sam Hazo. Sam Hazo wrote Pershire Majesty, a Scottish ballad, for wind band for the Tara Winds of Atlanta, Georgia, conducted by Dr. David Gregory. The style is representative of Dr. Gregory's Scottish background. Dr. Gregory will be in Troy, Alabama to be inducted into the National Band Association Hall of Fame, and our band will have the honor of having him guest conduct Pershire Majesty for our concert.
The symphony band, band's next selection is Polka and Faoud. Among the most popular works of Jaomir Weinberger is the Polka and Faoud from the opera Sawanda the Bagpiper. In the fantasy opera Sawanda the Bagpiper, Sawanda is a country piper who uses his music to break a spell of gloom cast upon the court of Queen Iceheart by a sorcerer. The queen kisses Swanda in appreciation, but when Swando's wife appears, he denies the encounter. May the devil take me away on the spot, Swanda says, if the queen kiss me. He is promptly swallowed up by a gaping hole in the earth, but a friend engages the devil in a card game, wins half of the devil's infernal kingdom, and trades it for Swanda's release. The polka is the music with which Swanda breaks the evil spell at court and sets the whole town dancing. The flute is a, accompanies Swanda on his triumphant departure from the devil's realm. <coughs> Thank you. 
super out of shape. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, that's a very hard song. There's a lot of notes. When we go to Troy, uh, we're going to be joined on stage by Santa Claus. No, we're going to be joined on stage by the uh, symphony band Brass at Troy University. Those of you that went to the uh, GMEA program last year remember it was a real big hit when we added the um, trombones from Columbus State University. So if you can imagine twice that sound coming out at the end, plus an organ, uh, it's going to be a pretty cool moment there, I think. I hope. I think. Uh, just a couple of things. This has been a wonderful, wonderful year this year. And I wanted to recognize just some of the things that the kids have done. Uh, first of all, back in the orchestra section, if you'll direct your attention back over here, we had several students that participated in the... Uh, Excuse me, I'm trying to catch my breath. In the District 9 uh, uh, Orchestra 
other orchestra. So these people, these students are, they will be Stan, Adeline Leithold, Holden Reeves, Faith Strait, Felicity Jean, Rose Morris, Joy D'Agostino, Evelyn Witte, Skylar Miller, Amelia Powell, and Cameron Lane. So let's give these guys a hand. And we also have our concert master, uh, Mr. Joey D'Agostino. He's going to be majoring in music next year, and so far he's on track to hopefully make All-State Orchestra again. He's advanced to the second round, and he'll be auditioning again in January to hopefully be a part of that group. So let's give Joey a hand. So in band land, oh man, I got a name, I got to do uh, second round governor's honors. So I believe we have, we have two, yes? Don't let me forget, it's Savannah, who went out from it up? And Macy, golly gee. Look, I forgot my drum majors one year when I had to announce the band, that's why we don't let me do that. These are kids that have been my band for four years. But uh, Macy Hamilton and Savannah Morrison, they're gonna be uh, doing their interview process to hopefully be selected for the Governor's Honors Program. So if Macy and Savannah would stand to be recognized for that. Obviously, I'd be remiss if I wouldn't say that I'm so proud of uh, the marching band this year and the work they did. Uh, aside from the fact that um, you know you brought home some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool awards, I think that the amount of growth that the band showed this year, in a year that maybe was not supposed to be, maybe that wasn't supposed to happen, and just did a really great job. So I'm very proud. Uh, of the students. I think we've come a long way and we've been able to figure out how to get past COVID. My ninth grade students, we had a talk this year and I told them, I said, we are not going to use COVID as a reason why this band will not be great. And, and they've really come around. I have people that have only been playing essentially for a year that sat on stage with the, the third band tonight. Uh, so I'm very proud of that group, uh, I can say. Uh, one thing I'm immensely proud, we have been working not only on all of this music, but the students, and of course their private lesson teachers. Are there any of our private lesson teachers here just happen to be here tonight? I'm not sure if we do. Uh, you know, we should thank our children's uh, private lesson teachers that we have, because let me tell you, when it comes to the district honor band in all state, I have about 5% to do with that. I'm a facilitator. If I'm doing my job right, then I'm facilitating the opportunities for these kids to, um, uh, to be part of that but we have some impressive things to tell you so i'm going to have these students stand when i call their names these are the students that will get to all have qualified to audition for uh the actual all-state band in january so these people stand uh andrew barker brandon buckley jordan buckley matthew chamala Jaden driscoll james driscoll ryan ellicott on clarinet and flute true story Sarah Esserwine, Katie Griffin, Chris Hendricks, Macy Hamilton, Gwen Hutchinson, Kate Johnston, Zachary Coney, Frederica Capabi, Hannah Law, nailed that. Hannah Lama, Gabby Kulis, Ethan Serrell, Riley St. Peter, Zion Terry, Olivia Tomini, Maya Tom, Haley Trainer, Jack Tucker, Clay Tucker, and it turns out you know, the kids have the opportunity to go for um, honor man only. If we had, pay, if we had uh, paid for this young man to go, he would have had the opportunity uh, to have actually gone home. And uh, so Parker Ingram actually made the qualifying score as well. So he's over there in the back and also in the second band, qualified to second round also. Did a fine, fine job. Uh, this is a Sequoia High School record and a Cherokee County record for a number of students, so let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Now, now you guys can hear Also a record, so check it out. I'm going to recognize each one of them. They have worked very hard for this. Christine Woods, stand up. Clay Tucker, Jack Tucker, Maya Tongue, Zion Terry, Abby Sims, Kristen Lawrence, 
Matthew Lawman, Hannah Law, Freder Frederica Capaldi, Braden Keller, Kate Johnston, Jador Jen Charles, Lauren Evans, Ryan Ellicott, Ansley Dilling, DJ Colonna, Jordan Buckley, Brandon Buckley, Gray Vitor, Andrew Barker, Olivia Tomini, Ethan Serrell, Daniel Murphy, Savannah Mortson, Adeline Leipold, Andrew Latimer, Oren Crookin, Gwen Hutchinson, Sarah Esserwine, Emma Grace Wittenberger. She's over there, come over here, Emma Grace. If you're over there, come over here. Haley Trainer, Riley St. Peter, Harry Roth, Gabby Kulis, Rose Morris, Zachary Koenig, first chair, by the way, Chris Hendricks, Macy Hamilton, Katie Griffin, Jaden Driscoll, Kimberly Strickland, come over, Katie. Brady St. Peter, come over. Parker Ingram, Gabriel Esplit, James Driscoll, Matthew Chamala. That's it, right? Is there anybody all left now? Record, 47 students in the district honor band. We alone represent 30% of the entire uh, district honor band. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very And more importantly, stay standing. I had so many students audition. We had like 80 audition. If, and you know, I'm the coordinator, so I know this. If some people don't show up, there's about 10 to 12 other people sitting in contention to actually get a call. So if I want to recognize anyone that took the time to try out for District Honor Band to please stand up and be recognized for your hard work. Everyone, make sure you go on the much for allowing me to recognize the students. Y'all can have a seat. Um, interestingly enough, some of the people standing on the stage to go to Allstate, this was their first time trying out for district band. Several of the people that are going to Allstate this year are people that have not made honor band before. Several of the people that are making honor band are juniors and even seniors that have not made honor band before. So I'm really, really impressed and just Thankful for all the hard work that, that you've done. I want to thank, of course, all the band parents and everything that you've done, Mr. Naughton, all the staff uh, that have been a part of, of the program this year. Um, I'm going to give one final shout out to uh, Mr. David Geiger for his job being MC tonight. Feel free to buy several raffle tickets and donate $1 million to the program tonight. Thank you for your contribution in advance. Let's bring Mr. Geiger up and we're going to play this other song that we have to play, otherwise I get fired. <laughs> selection is Sleigh Ride by Leroy Anderson. Sleigh Ride exists in numerous versions and is a staple of the holiday season. The idea first came to the composer during a heat wave in July of 1946. The first recording occurred in 1949 with lyrics being added by Mitchell Parrish the following year. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Leroy Anderson's Immortal Slay Ride.